know, I gotta say, the rain is kind of nice. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is having a good week. I thought it was Monday today, but it's only Tuesday. Oh goodness, my weeks have been messed up. Or my days, my days. Alrighty, so my plan is to do... Of course it's raining. Is to do some... Dazzle beach work. I want to redo Donald's area and then maybe work on Ariel's. Redo her area. <laughs> Gambit, how are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. So I want to do Donald's area, and I want to do, I think, Stitch's area, too. I want to start decorating his house. I think I mega screwed my niece excited for Easter. Absolutely hate the, oh, by the way, you're in charge of the Easter egg hunt part. Whatever, that part sucks. She thinks her cousins are coming and I'm here going, ew, I don't know about that one. Absolute dream crusher, I hate this. <laughs> oh, goodness. I never liked doing egg hunts and stuff like that. Well, it was little, like, people would take you to do it. I, I don't know why. I was not a fan. That's how I feel about this week's stream set. Man, I almost spiraled. I'm like thinking about redoing my dream set because I hate it. I've seen, or it's like, because what I see people, other people doing, that's, that's my problem. Is I'll watch videos and stuff and like people doing their discord review and they're so good. And people are doing like one half winter, one half summer. It's like, yeah, mine's, mine's awful. Oh, just got a wagon in the store. I forgive you, game. <laughs> what wagon did you get? Auto cooker. Had to be game. <laughs> the punch. <laughs> okay. I did. Oh my god, the auto cooker is so slow. I forgot all about it. Oh my god, I need more fabric. Oh no. Alright, any more? We need to get more fabric. Please have Kristoff selling fabric.
Yeah, so I was like spiraling thinking I should redo my dream snap. But I think I'll just stick with it. I don't know. The lightning strike wagon from Lilo and Stitch. Nice. Nothing. <laughs> yes. You know, I gotta say, the rain is kinda nice. I think I have some cotton growing actually. I think it's in the peaceful metal. Oh wait, well, it's so dark out. I can't decorate in the dark. I'm going to drag this out by putting one in my pocket, a thorny bush, or put it in the middle of the pool. And this thing where the rain tablets go. Oh my gosh. I see like that scene in like Gilmore Girls. Um, when Kirk, Kirk is the, um, in charge of doing that egg hunt. And then there's eggs like still hidden throughout the town that are rotting. So they have to find them. I wish I had a gardening buddy. Make some fabrics, we can make our stalls. Gonna get an upgrade. Oh, the new stuff is gone. Okay. Um, I need. Do four of, we'll do one of each, so I need four of each of these. For now, and then if I decide I like a color better, then Good thing the cold doesn't kill me. we'll change it. I've been walking more and more and I must say, feel great. Still can't feel my legs though. Guess my overly catchy fast pace music is putting my legs in line and saying you're gonna love soldier. <laughs> nice. I need to I need to walk more. My problem is is like when um I have time to do it, like when I'm done with work I'm too tired, or then like what days I don't work, the weather's usually pretty nasty, so it's like well I don't wanna go out there in that. But I need to like take my dog and start like walking her for her hips and stuff. Cause she's outside and plays a lot, but like just a slow paced walk they said would help help her. So we do that at some point. <laughs> Autocorrect is like the death of me too. What else? I want to do some of these jars. Just have them ready. Right. 
they need to fix this where when you craft an item, it doesn't go all the way back to the top. It should stay at the last item you crafted. Okay, um... Let's do a basket. We'll do one of each of the baskets, so... The yellow one and the white basket, and then we'll start decorating. Let's see what we need after that. Weird. I decided to go to the second lake that's farther away. I don't know if the dudes think it's really unsafe to go there, but I don't want to see you <laughs> do yoga, bro. That's a house thing. I could, I, I would not want to do yoga outside. Like, not outside my house. Like, I don't like working out outside. Like, I don't want to. Oh, hold on. I want to keep the Donald sign. It's going to be hard for me to find. I don't want, like, dirt on my hands and stuff, you know? I don't want to, like, do poses and then, like, have my hands all, like, muddy and stuff. Okay, what? Oh. Getting these items out. Oh my god, that thing's huge. Okay, wow, I did not expect it to be that big. I have some high ambitions for Donald's stall then. <laughs> Whoops. Why do I feel like they look smaller on Eternity Isle? Let's see. <laughs> Watching as somebody do it in spandex. I have like the irrational fear of fear of like I'm going to fall while I'm like even hiking and stuff. <laughs> what an interesting view you had on the walk. It probably made the walk seem faster, go by faster. That's like part of the fun is like the people watching. Apparently I can't pick up this box. There we go. I went on a hike one time in a park and when I came back like right where I had parked my car and like I need I wanted to go to it because I think I had done like seven or eight miles of this hike and as soon as I got done with it and I'm like coming back up the hill so it's like I was coming up like a really steep hill and um there was this kind of like overlook spot and that's where I parked to see like the overlook of the park and then um anyway then you walk a little bit and then like there's a parking lot and so I parked my car well there's a wedding going on so we had to like stand people were like shooing us aside and so I'm terrified that like there's gonna be pictures of like sweaty old me like climbing this mountain <laughs> back up Trying to get to my car. This poor couple's wedding photos.
But there was like no like warning or anything that there's even gonna be a wedding there. For like people to know. It was just kinda like they come up the hill like gasping for air like ha. Huh. Let me see how Oh, I should get that, um, fish thing from a friend of Scrooge's, too. Or not Scrooge's, uh, Scars. That's his name, Scar. No, I moved it. Oh, gosh, where did it go? Here, here it is. <laughs> there are many things I'd like to burn for my brain, but as of today, that's number one. <laughs> made me, she made me run faster. That is so funny. Alright, let me fix that. Oh, we can't. Mm, the breach is so close. All right, how do I want to work this then? Can can we put stuff underneath there? Yeah. Number two would be my first two years of high school there. School decided to make all the female staff that was 70 plus cheer and cheerleading outfits. I got stuck with the back here, wanted to vomit. Desperately need eye bleach. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's crazy. Okay, I feel like I should do... I should use the blue more with Donald's bow. I guess I could use bows. I wish I could move that like... Something like this, maybe? Maybe I'll have to, like, bring it out a little bit farther. <laughs> Some interesting memories, for sure, it sounds like it. I'd be scared to, like, try new things <laughs> or go anywhere. Dream snap adjusted and complete. I'm jealous. I want to redo my dream snap so bad. Put that there for right now. I'm getting heavy Aladdin supermarket vibes. I don't know the look I'm going for quite yet. I want to tie it into whatever I do. I want to tie it in with Eternity Isle and kind of make it look like like Donald just came from there, you know? Like he's ferrying the goods back and forth between the two places. how this looks. And 
And then what I th think I want to do to is somehow I want to tie in the fruit market with um Stitch's house or you know like cuz the um the fruit market that Nani worked at at the end of the movie I kind of want to do tie that somehow in with Stitch Hi Danny, how are you? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Okay. I hope I don't Pretty good just tuning in. Nice. Should I have a mixture of the two colors or just stick with one? I like, I like the blue material, but I like the wood with the red one a bit better. Oh gosh. You unlocked Forest of Valor and got Vanellope von Suisse My Valley. Nice. Is that how you trigger her coming in? I haven't, um... I was curious, like, how she comes in. Or, like, how... Because I played when, like, she came in the update. I, like, didn't really have a choice. I mean, I could do something and, like, extend the market out this way. Maybe. And what if, okay, how big is uh, Mulan's? <laughs> Moana's fishing boat, since she don't live here no more. I mean, Donald can take that over for her. I don't need symmetry. I don't need symmetry. I thought you said Mulan instead of Moana. I did. I I definitely said Mulan and not Moana at first. Like, wait a minute. Mulan does not go fishing. Move this down just a tad.
You don't want the, these fish to bake out in the sun. She could be welcomed here. <laughs> Her item is in the Forest of Valor. What was her item? All I remember is literally just finding her in the castle the one day. When like they're like, something's going on in the castle, you better go check it out. Anyways, I was under a thunderstorm. Oh. I need to move this thing for now. That's the one thing I hate about having like the taller items. Hi Ashy, how are you? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. I was under a thunderstorm, I'm gonna turn on my iMac to check on my valley. Oh, you have like not having good weather today. Let's see how. I need to put some more items in here. Oh my goodness, that scared me. We got the fishing bow because I always forget about it. I can't put anything here, can I? Oh, I could. So my dad is a David golf ball collector. In other words, that weird guy with the fishing net at the golf course. I'd be nice one time and find him one. Now I'm finding them everywhere, I think. He cursed me. What is a David golf ball? What does that, what does that mean? Yeah, we had a thunderstorm, so I'm going to turn on my Mac right after I install an update for Mac OS. Oh. Nice. We had, we're supposed to get rain tomorrow. And then, um, today was just, like, windy. It's brutal. Alright, can we place stuff in here? I'm doing all right. I finally got to decorate decorating Frosted Heights last night. It's been mostly barren since I started the game. Nice. I Oh my gosh, you can't put stuff on here. I hate this game. How rude. I need to work on Well, my Frosted Heights is okay. I feel like I need to figure out something to do with that, like, next little corner on the other side where my candy people are, but I'm not sure what I want to do. Oh my gosh, it's my fish cart. <laughs> I put Avid, and that's what it chose to replace it with. I was like, who's David? What's this, what is a David golf ball? I was genuinely confused. The only thing I know about golf is what I learned from Happy Gilmore, which wasn't a lot. But to swing with your hips.
Did you hear about what happened in Baltimore? Yeah, that was crazy. That's I hate going over bridges for that reason. It's like my number one irrational fear. I hate it. I think get ready because they're making a sequel. I am so ready. Um, the guy like Shooter McGavin's supposed to be like not far from me at some point this summer for something with golf, and I want to go meet him. My sister met the guy who plays Shooter McGavin. I want to meet him. Ah, no, 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 don't. I put Belle's castle in the Frosted House. Penelope's house doesn't seem to fit well anywhere for me. I chose the Frosted Heights because of the colors. I evicted Belle and Beast to the, the aisle so I don't have to see him every day. Because I'm a bad person. Oh yeah, that bridge collapsing was crazy. It was. I I'm, was shocked. I, I don't even know. The poor families. Don't move to Pittsburgh to many bridges. I hate going over bridges so much. I mean, it's probably not an irrational fear now because of what happened. But yeah, I, ugh, nope, no, no, no. Okay, this is really upsetting that you can't put anything there. I want to display rugs or <laughs> something. Oh my gosh, where's um... I'm gonna have to make a list of stuff I'm gonna have to rebuy. Oh, look at why why can't you put anything underneath help okay I can put this underneath there I, I wanted to put this underneath it would look so cute is it too tall it'd be like such a cute little blanket stand I thought I had a really good idea going on there. Great. Thanks a lot, Rachel. I heard it took years to build. I, I don't even- how do you even build a bridge that big across the water? Like, it baffles my mind. Like, how are you supporting it? I don't- I don't know how they build bridges to begin with. Like, I watched them build a short one by me like fix it and it was like the scariest thing ever i didn't even want to drive across it you have given me happy gilmore 2 the animal 2 and dodgeball 2 all things i wanted but the one thing i want most you don't do come on man it's just make wedding crashers too still not complaining <laughs> oh my gosh i haven't seen wedding crashers in forever Oh yeah, the um Bell's Castle with that winter scene. I c I bet their house looks really pretty though. In the frosted heights.
Okay, I feel like that's not going to work now. Do we have other baskets of stuff like this? Like party things? I'll just go to the all because I have no idea what we have and don't have in this game. Can we put... Alright, we can put crates... Ooh, can we put the, the tall crates underneath there? Maybe I'll do the crates under there and then move... Not use the blinking thing. DDB where real world physics don't work. I mean, at least you can put some stuff underneath these things. But I wish- I want to put everything underneath, okay? I don't want to- yes or no. Like, you're here to serve. I need, like, another clothing item like that. I probably- because the blanket thing doesn't fit under there. I doubt the, um- the Wally clothes thing will fit underneath there. After your previous stream, I recently subscribed to you. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, I appreciate that. My spiraling stream. <laughs> oh, that theme park is the death of me. Oh, and I want to somehow tie ice cream carts into here, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. Do like a rustic wooden crate. You can't, you can't even put the room divider back there. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Can I put a veggie stand? Well, I can, at least I can put a veggie stand underneath there. That's good to know. Yeah, no clothing hanger. Can I put a washer and dryer? Yeah, I can put a washer and dryer for sale. What do I have? Oh, I don't have any. This is going to be like the most thrown together pour, I feel. I'm not ready for Thursday. My sister-in-law is coming now with the kids, minus my brother, because, well, he's basically just a big kid. I think I'm going to be on double duty. Uh, sounds like a very busy weekend. I forgot Easter was this weekend coming up. I believe it's gonna be April, like on Monday. That's craziness. I am not ready for April. Oh, oh, I need my, my crafting bench is over here. April is your birth month. Nice. I, wonder what sort of special ingredients I don't grow. necessarily like spring because of the mud. I just want it to be summer already. I was working outside today and my dogs were like running around. So I had a, a brown dog instead of a white dog. It's like, great. 
crate. I need two crates to make a pile of crates. It's March 31st, Blaine leap year. Is that why my schedule is so screwed up and like I don't know what the days and stuff are? It feels like it's later than it actually is like in the year because of leap year. Is that what happened? Thanks a lot. <laughs> Where's my stack of crates? You better be able to put these underneath this thing. Turning 24 this month, and we're planning to see Monster Jam really soon. What's Monster Jam? I am not up with the times. Or I might know what it is, but I forgot. That could be the other thing. I probably won't use this. I, I might use this somewhere else. Monster trucks. Oh, see, no, I wouldn't have known what that is. I'm not up with the times. Please fit under there. Okay, cool. But that has blankets on it, and that's why I wanted to put the blankets in there. That one does not have blankets. This is will probably yeah that would not fit there. Rats, rats. Okay, what if? Hold on. What if? Oh, nope. <laughs> Why? Or no, wait, 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 this could work. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I got it. I'm thinking about maybe I'll switch, I'll swap stuff over. So I'll put the fish, instead of going down here, I'll put the fish right here. And then I can have the blankets. Oh, no, no. No, I no never mind. I don't need the blanket stand. I don't need the blanket stand. It's okay. Autumn is my favorite season. It is mine too. I love the fall. Okay, so crates. I wish it was fall year round. I have the colors and I like it being cool in the mornings and at night and it being warm during the day. Grave digger is the best truck in my opinion. I have no idea what that is. And then is that a Tinkerbell outfit? It is a Tinkerbell inspired outfit, yes. <laughs> Wait, whew, I just noticed the Florida potty. Been there the whole time for you, Gambit. I couldn't take it away from its rightful home. Donald, he needs, he's gotta use the restroom on his breaks. Can I put stuff on? No, I can't put stuff on top of these barrels. Oh, but I can. I guess that's where it was. Donald has to prep for Daisy, which means not selling the ocean in the bathroom. <laughs> or not using. <laughs> oh, I thought he that was like a selling point for Daisy living on the boat. <laughs> the ocean is your restroom, Daisy. Okay. 
funny. Gotta be clean, clean. It's always raining in this game. Always, always. I do like me winter, spring. You nearly killed me last year with pneumonia and allergies every year. Oh no. I've never gotten pneumonia, but I blame Secret of Nim for having me thinking that if I got pneumonia, I would die. Can I put trees? I can put a whole stinking tree underneath this thing, but I can't put a blanket. I hate you. And I can't put anything on top of these. Nice. Real nice. He might have to sell the boat for a three bedroom condo in the valley. I can trade him a house for the boat. He can live in, um, Lady Tremaine's house. Or he could have a castle. I could switch him. The green part of your inspired outfit reminds me of Princess Tiana. Oh, with the, um, like, her... I could say, like, her petals, but I don't really know what her design is. I gotta make a... Tiana dress at some point probably closer to when she's coming into the game now do we want no that doesn't look right I need something else here though maybe it would be fine And what would I put here? Oh, can I? Hold on a minute. Can we make more of the water traps? Yes. Yeah, these ones. Yes, you can. You can craft more. I could put another one there. And what if I craft a uh, crafting thing? I was mere hours from going septic. I was sweating so much I could have filled a whole bucket. For oh, that's bad. I couldn't eat for a whole 30 hours of sleep. They, they mess up multiple IVs. Oh, that's scary. And all I can think of is like the secret of me and them when Timothy got the medicine. And I thought it was something like the plague when you got it. I didn't know what it was. I think the tr where are the traps? I know you could have yeah right there the fishing traps. It's weird. That's like the one item that you craft for a quest that you can do like multiple of. Wait, can we vote every day now for moonstones? Wait, what? We get moonstones for voting every day? Is 
Is that a thing? Oh no, I will try. I'll vote every single day to get moonstones because that's poor. I already voted, I'm sure. Maybe it's just a glitch. Hmm. No, that doesn't look right. Hmm, what else to put here? It said you got all 30 for the vote stuff. I saw that, but then if there was a glitch that you're gonna get more moonstones for voting, like I should take advantage of that. I splurged on the cozy edition. Nice. You deserve a splurge. I splurged and bought a Steam gift card <laughs> so I could get some moonstones the other day. It's gone, but it felt nice to splurge and buy something I wanted. This is one thing I'm excited for this year, and that's Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference event. Oh, is there something you're looking forward to? Well, 35% off had to. Yeah, that was a really good deal. I wish I had waited to buy mine. It's okay that that palm tree is going through the outhouse. I don't think anybody will notice. Wait, was it a good deal? Should I be in on this? Um, there is Ashy. You have um Xbox, right? Let me see. I know it was on Amazon. Um, hold on. Dream light. Cozy edition. Yeah, so they have it on Xbox right now. It's on sale for like $39.99 instead of like $49.99. So I don't so that's like 20% off. But you do get if you haven't already bought it, you get the um what is it? You get five raccoon. Well, you wouldn't have this. Okay, so if you didn't buy it already, you you'll get the purple. This purple cottage, like this, comes with it. Uh, yeah, this thing, that house. You get that house skin. Um, I play mostly on PC, but I use the Xbox app mostly on PC. Yeah. So if um because PC doesn't have the version, so I think if you somehow use like your xbox app it'll still transfer because that's what i had to do mine but with switch like put all my stuff on switch and then like go over to back to steam to play um but you'll get this purple house skin this purple cottage skin you get the five raccoon companions that are based off the inside out characters you get a 
Cheshire Cat Sweater, and you also get like 14,500 Moonstones. So it's the same price as if you were to, or it's actually cheaper if you were to buy the bigger bundle of the Moonstones. But then you also get the house skin, the five companions, the sweater, and then you also get stickers from the game. And then you get like this poster, which one side has a map and the other side has one of the update cover art photos. But it's a pretty good deal if you're looking for something on your, like for Moonstone's cheap. Basically last year, Apple unveiled the Apple Vision Pro. It's revolutionary spatial computer, the 15-inch MacBook Air, along with the powerhouse Mac Studio and Mac Pro, the breakthrough M2 Ultraship. An exciting new feature is coming to iOS 17, iPad OS 17, Mac OS, Sonoma, Watch OS 10, TV OS 17, and AirPods. Oh my goodness, I have... Oh, you're waiting for her to go on sale on Switch? Well, the cozy edition... Hold on. Which you get the base game too. It's $35.99. And you still get the 14,500 Moonstones and all that stuff. But you don't get the, um... You get the base game, but you don't get the expansion pack. Or, no, the DLC. The DLC, that's what it is. Yeah, Switch is a little bit cheaper than the other ones. PlayStation 5 and Xbox are $39.99 and Switch is $35.99. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Claire bought the, um, she's the one who brought uh, it to my attention that it was on sale on Amazon because she bought the Switch version to get the cozy edition with, like, the items and the moonstones. This is not going to fit anywhere. I've been so busy talking about Apple, I didn't even turn on my iMac <laughs> or MacBook Air. I know nothing that goes on with Apple. I just have like my little old devices. I call it good. Mm -hmm. I bought my computer when it came out just because it was orange. That was the only reason I bought it. Well, I needed a new computer, but I wanted an orange Mac. Yeah, the Switch version says PS5, but it's actually Switch. Oh, the Gold Edition is still $70 on Switch? Yeah. Um, How much is the... Well, the DLC is like 30 right? Yeah, so the gold, the gold edition gives you the DLC. Yeah, it gives you the DLC. The cozy edition is just the base game. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to do a sale on the DLC and stuff in the game. Yeah, nothing on sale at Switch at the moment. The Cozy Edition is a store one, so it's like a physical copy. So I don't think it would show up. Like, if you're interested in it, it wouldn't show up in the um, the eShop. Because it's like the retail edition. That's the name for it. Oh, you mean the physical copy? Yeah, even though it's literally just a piece of paper with a code, but you get a, a nice case with it. <laughs> but yeah, the um the cozy edition's supposed to be the physical copy. But for Switch it's just the code on a piece of paper. 
That was the M1 iMac. That's when Apple released the Macs in color. I... Yeah, I did not pay attention to, like, what it was called. I just knew I wanted an orange iMac. That was just my dream, to have an orange one. And then it came out and I was like, it's near mine. Basically, I have an M1 iMac in silver. Nice. Okay, what else can I put? I need to put something on top. I need to fill out this area some more. Maybe I should, hold on. Move this tree for the moment. Maybe I should just move the outhouse. No, it doesn't look good there. <laughs> How do I get where I had it? Maybe it's this, this thing. Maybe it's this. Hold on. What if I do? Encanto. Something like that, and then... I think I want some more crates. Hold on, let me craft more crates. Hold on. As I'm running away from my crafting station. <laughs> Goodness. Remember how I said uh, last time I wasn't going to subscribe to Apple Arcade featured in Seizure Lake Valley? Did you subscribe? What Steam Deck do you have? Um... I don't know. <laughs> um, it's the... The first one that came out. Like, I didn't... What is it? Have you crafted the cart? Which cart? Hold on. The one... Is there a new cart with the DLC? This cart? I have crafted this cart. The wooded cart? Was that the one I was just on? Yeah, yes, I have that one crafted. I have a couple more in my inventory. I have one right here, but maybe I'll put another one over here for like the vegetables and stuff. But I got um my Steam Deck. It's when the Steam Decks first came out and I think I don't remember what size it is um like the memory i think it's does it say on the back hold on i think i got the mid-sized one for memory only because I didn't want to be bothered by, like, a memory card and stuff at first. Because I wasn't sure how much I was going to play it. I should think about getting a Steam Deck. I hardly play Nintendo games. I love it. I haven't, compared to my Switch, like, um, I haven't touched my Switch in months. 
because of the Steam Deck. Like, I literally, um, yeah, I, um, yeah, once through my valley, I got it on the Steam Deck that became verified. Like, I was done with my Switch, which is bad because I actually should play my Switch because I bought it. But then everything else, I have other games on the Steam Deck too, and I haven't played them. Which I should. Like, I have Coral Island bought on it. Dinkum. I love Dinkum. I play that, too. I played it. I have to play some more of it. You could put the goat in front of the cart like it just pulled it there. Oh, that's such a good idea. I'm sick. I don't know what to do. Your tomorrow, do I go to Subway again for like the sixth time in two weeks or just go to the McDonald's and get a nice extra large milkshake? I can put, how garbage is that? I can put this like huge stack, sorry about my rant, of crates here, but I couldn't put a blanket rack. Can you connect the Steam Deck to a PC monitor? Yeah, that's how I have, mine's connected like that right now. That is how I'm streaming. Like, I have, um, you can buy, like, Valve, Steam, whatever. They have their own cord. I bought Mon off of Amazon, and I just hooked it up, and then I have an Xbox controller hooked up to it, like, through Bluetooth, so I'm playing it that way. Because I can't get Dreamlight Valley Steam onto my computer. Like, it says it's not compatible. Oh, so it's like a portable gaming console. It's literally like Steam Windows version of a Switch. It just doesn't have controllers that come off. And like you can get like a special docking thing for it. I'm pre I think they sell it now. I just have like a, some adapter thing that I just plug into where the charger goes. And then I plug in like the charger and HDMI cord and it's golden. I don't know what it's called, but I got it on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it's just a better version of the Switch. Like, it graphics looks better, runs a little bit better. I love it. But yeah, it's like a mini computer. I'm pretty sure, like, um, with Stardew Valley and stuff, I think you can even put, like, mods on it. Where did I put that goat? There it is. Like, there's somehow... You can put, like... Your mods on the game and stuff, and play stuff that way. I have not... Tried it yet, because I don't know how to... I don't... I haven't used mods in any games. You can get Sims on it too and play. I haven't played because I haven't played with a controller yet and I don't know how well it would work. But I like it. I recommend it to anybody who wants one. Where's all my stuff? Oh yes, if the controller is like rocket science, at least to me. Yeah, I'm just like, am I doing this right? It's funny because like, I played like Sims 2 all the time growing up and that was fine. But it's like, playing like a regular base Sims and you know, not like have it or like my the sims 2 games or like sims 2 pets and stuff like that and doing something or t cast away it's different but like with the controller with like regular sims I'm like i'm lost i need to consider a steam deck or a new xbox that is a tough choice
I played Sims on PlayStation, so I've only played it with a controller. My sister has it on the 360. So she plays with the controller. I'm just not used to it, and I guess like I should try it. I should get some more patience. I want like the little tiny tree. Excuse me, this is not at all what I'm asking for. Can you not place any trees on the beach? This is like the water part, which I hate. I can plant like grass and stuff there. I guess that is the same little tree, like... Okay. I need a one square tree. Is there a one square tree? Actually, if I just move this over. It's the- yeah. I don't- That's one thing I don't like about decorating on the beach. Because the water takes up so much space. I basically got an Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch. Best part about PS5 is that it works great with Sony. The Via? Am I saying it right? Since PlayStation is made by Sony. I want a new PlayStation. There's a couple games I want to play, like the older Harvest Moon games, and I have it on the PlayStation 3, but I can't stream from my PlayStation 3 because it has that security feature thing that doesn't want me to stream, so that's fun. And I bought like the little thing to try to get like an override on it, but it doesn't work. Is a thing to like bypass it. Bravia, Bravia. I I never know how to pronounce things. I'm really bad. Maybe something like this. So we've got, I can put some stuff on this crate. We got blankets for sale. We got some, oh, I want to put some produce stuff on here. And then I can put some like beach grass over there. And we got fish for sale. I have an Xbox so I can hold on to it for 10 years until the next Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I'm gonna have my Xbox until it dies. I can't do anything else on it. I think it's underbrush that I need. Or it's the reeds. Yeah, I can put this grass everywhere. It's pretty. I like the reeds. Big 
PC, I wanted to switch from Vizio to Sony because I wanted to match my consoles, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I am... I am not up to date on anything. I only know how to connect my Apple products. When the prompt tells me with my Apple ID. <laughs> That's it. I am not very tech savvy at all. Like, I have to, like, sit down and watch videos and, like, contemplate it like it's my greatest life's work. And then I can understand it. But just talking, like, the lingo, I have no idea what anything is. And I can still get back here to get stuff that spawns. Yeah, I know that Sony is, like, PlayStation. Yeah, I want a great PC so I can make- get mods for Skyrim. That's, like, my next biggest purchase I want is, um... I want, like, a regular PC. Like, I have... My Mac. But I want a P- like, an actual PC. Someday. I wanted my TV to match. I need an Atari TV for my Atari. <laughs> oh man, I would love to play some Pong. <laughs> I, um, what is it? Yeah, like, I have, when I found out, like, the, um, the converter to the HDMI to, like, the three colored prongs, oh my gosh, that was, like, the best day ever. I spent, like, all afternoon playing on my Super Nintendo. <laughs> I was like, this is great. So I went with the Sony... Bravia because if I'm playing PlayStation and it has Sony on the console, I want a Sony TV to play it on. I didn't even know Sony... Well, no. I knew Sony made a TV. Don't they have, like, a curved fancy TV? Oh my gosh. Seizure. Ah. Hi, Claire. How are you? Welcome in. Hope you're having a great day. Did you guys have the Nintendo Wii? I still have a Nintendo Wii. And it's the, um, well. <laughs> I had, um, my dad got, my sister and I won. And then we sold it, like, years ago because I thought, um, my, the, what is it, the Epic Mickey game was missing. And my sister and I were like, we need money. We'll just sell it. And then... We did, and I think about it all the time. I miss it, but then somebody came to visit, and she left, like, all of her stuff at my cousin's house, like, with my sister, and we never heard from her again, and I don't know, like, a couple years later, like, we took her bag out of a closet. It was really weird, and we found a, a Wii in it, and so it's like, she just left this, but, like, no cords, no controllers, no nothing. She, I don't even know if it worked, but it worked. I was like, okay. Thank you. Like, I don't even know if this girl still lives in the state. Like, she just opted and left and, like, disappeared. It was really weird. But yeah, I still got a weed. <laughs> I just inherited it. Oh, you're sick, Claire. Oh, no. I hope you get better soon. And it's not, like, anything too serious. Being sick is the worst. And yes, we do need a fishing pole thing. We need fishing items for the beach. Wii Sports Resort is my favorite game on that council. I don't necessarily like the Wii. Like, it is... I don't know. It's not my thing. Like, I have horrible hand-eye coordination. And so, like, I, I never, ever, 
I do bad. Like any Wii sports, like golf, bowling, I was awful. Gives me like PTSD. Oh, we think that's Samsung. Anyways, I think I got Sony to mash and it was the best thing because one of my inputs is now the PlayStation symbol. Nice. It's just the cold. Oh good, hopefully you get better soon. They were talking about like pneumonia earlier and stuff. That's like the time of year. But getting, like, even the cold is awful, too. I hate being sick. Are you going to get the Epic Mickey remake? I am. That's when I'll put some hours on my Switch. <laughs> Hold on a second. It's almost like we stepped inside Bob's imagination. where they harvest their eyes. I'm trying to, I had like a photo like kind of saved for inspiration. I was just trying to find it real quick. Probably lost now forever and ever. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I want to put maybe another stall over here. And then put like the ice cream carts or something. Or do more the fruit carts. Oh, I did not craft this thing. I was like, do you want to try the Epic Mickey remake? I just, I was just too scared to try it on Wii since I'm used to controllers with handheld, not too good with motion. I threw the controller the one time. I got decently far on the Wii playing Epic Mickey, but not, not great. It was bad. Like my, um, oh my gosh, I played... Pokemon Go or let's go Pikachu Pokemon Go <laughs> on my switch and like trying to catch it like having to like throw the I tried hooking up to like I had it docked and then like trying to catch it like throwing like my controller and stuff moving it to get it it was awful I was like I'm gonna die trying another idea could be tents and campfire on the beach that's what I was thinking like over in this area more like maybe update some of Buzz's stuff you had great stuff in my shop today I got the scare posters a green marble flooring from Cinderella and a pile of books awesome Claire friends, I had would love not a good haul but the past two days and I haven't reset but there has been like no new flooring and wallpaper in Scrooge's for me. Like, it's been gone. So I'm curious, like, if I've got all the wallpaper? I'm not good with one in one hand and the other hand in... I'm not good with one in one hand and the other in the other hand. I'm good with handles, buttons, triggers, and sticks. Yeah, the Epic Mickey, like, one hand, you gotta, like, run around and do stuff, and then, like, you have the other controller. I was really bad at that.
like i don't know like i watched um one of like council kato's streams and i she was the first person i ever saw play like it was the animal crossing one and it was her switch but she was decorating and she had like one controller of the switch in each hand i was so i'm like how do you do that i'm like i couldn't even do that on the the wii and i was watching her decorate and move stuff like holding like the controller separately and when i have it undocked like i have to i bought the little controller holder but yeah i cannot do like one i can't do separate like they have to be like one controller so that's why i'm excited for the switch but if they make it like the wii sports and i have to undock it i'm gonna die on the inside Making Stitch's house a surf shop is a really good idea. Do you have most of the plain furniture? Um, I think so. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. I, um, what do I have? I don't even know. Does it tell you in the collection, like, how much of each you have? Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, so for, like, the regular, the not. I'm missing one Cinderella item. Oh, my gosh. Three frozen items. lot of Lilo and Stitch items. F oh my gosh, four Mickey and Friends items. Quite a few. Okay, so non-Disney related like that. I'm missing a little less than 200. But I got, I have a lot. It's it's building up. I feel like there's a couple cupboards I'm probably missing. I want to try the remake since it's coming to Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. I'm excited for the remake. I have been when does it come out again? Isn't it like this spring? Yes, the Easter event starts tomorrow. I couldn't remember what day it was. It's like the 27th to the 17th. What's my percent? I'm at 83 right now for my furniture percent. There is one great game I played for Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. It's called My Little Pony, a Maritime Bay Adventure. I didn't, I don't think I've ever played like a My Little Pony game. I don't know if I ever watched the show. I was not... I was like a spirit child. Like that was the only horse show or movie I remember like watching and getting like the figures for. They have, they should have an app where you can keep track of clothes and furniture. Is, um, what is it? Um, there is an, there is an app, I think. Hold on, what is it called? But I haven't looked into it, so I don't know what you can do, but I've seen the app. I think Let's Play K did a video about it. Dreamlight, oh, <laughs> I downloaded it. <laughs> Whoops, all right, Dreamlight Valley Guide. Yeah, well, you can go through your furniture sets. Oh, but I don't know, does it? 
That's what it's called. I have no idea, like... What you can do in it. But I know you can... It looks like you can, like, track and put in, like, what items and stuff you have. I'm really bad at keeping up with that stuff. Wait, hold on. I made a red one. It's amazing. It's based on the TV show by Netflix. Oh, I didn't even know Netflix had a TV show about it. I missed all the Twitch drops. Oh no, Gambit. I got those while I was working. I would watch, I put a stream on and listen to it. That's how I got those, because I was like, there's no way I cannot, that I'll be able to, like, watch this. When it's, um, because of some of the stream, I can't talk. Because a lot of the streamers that I watched, like, they were streaming during my work hours. You don't have the Twitch drops either, Claire? Oh, no. I hope they they come back with some. Um, Lilo and Stitch. Can I? Oh, praise. Praise the Lord, I can fit them side by side. Yes. Look at that. Would you look at that? I have my little, like, veggie and garden... Look at Donald bringing us items. Now I gotta put something in the back there. You can look up the old codes though. You need to craft the Easter items. I want to get more of the stalls. I got my ice cream stalls. <laughs> Lizzie, did you watch what you do with the lady in the tramp table with your critters? I did. I saw that. That is really cool. I'm glad that they added that in because I was like really nervous that we just had this little bitty table that we couldn't do much with. I don't know why I thought it was going to be bigger and that I was going to be able to, I have no idea, um, <laughs> like sit people around it. I got ice cream stands. I feel like I need to put some more stuff in here. Can't do my blankets. Oh, can't put the ice cream stall in there. How rude. It kind of makes sense for the critters. It does, like, thinking about it, but, like, when we first got it, I was like, what? What am I going to do with this thing? Sorry if I'm sounding annoying, but what do you think of Disney Magic Kingdoms? 
Um, no, you're not annoying. I have not had a chance to play it yet. Or I haven't even had a chance to download it. But it is on my list to check out. I had to update my iPad and everything to make sure I could even download stuff on it because I, I have not been using it in a while. Where other stuff looks like we could buy it? Fingers crossed that this week I get my premium shop item that I've been waiting for so I can finish decorating my plaza. I still have so many eggs left from last year I don't even- I don't know if I ever- if I never need more. I feel like I- there's one I didn't get a lot of. I have to like double check but I feel like- I got a lot of like those yellow ones or something. Maybe it was the bush ones. You downloaded Magic Kingdom onto your phone. Nice. I have. I can't put games on my phone, it's too dangerous. I put like puzzle games on there. I have a couple that like I do. Like Tetris and then unblock no. I have yeah, Tetris and then um this weird puzzle game where you have blocks with numbers on it and you just kinda like flick them and so there's like a three and a three and you hit them. There's a three? I don't know, but there's like 16 and 16 and it's like 32 and then you have to hit like the 32s and you get like 64 and you keep like building up like your points and stuff based on the blocks like hitting each other. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's just, what is it called? It's, it was an ad and I got it and, but I was doing really good at my math. I was like, oh, I know what these two numbers are. Chain cube, that's what it was. And then 1010 is like the other game and sort it. Yeah, puzzle games are the only games I put on my phone. I did play, um, what the one game? I still have it, but I haven't played it because I said, but like Township, put that on my phone and I put so many hours on it and I spent so much money like buying stuff on sale. And then I stopped playing it because I got busy and I was like, all right, no more games like that. Were shunned from those. Hope you're decorating for spring in your valley. Um, I feel like my meadow is like my spring area. That's just my dedicated spring area. And then. Like how my Frosted Heights is like my dedicated like Christmassy winter area. That's what the meadow is going to be. My dedicated spring area. I play Wordscapes on phone. We have a tourney every weekend. I've never played Wordscapes. You know what's the biggest pet peeve I have? Ads that have fail at the end. Oh, that's the worst. And I hate 
I hate ads on games. And it's like I'm not paying for these to go away. So like when I get an ad, I just go to a different game and do a different puzzle or something. <laughs> or I put my phone on airplane mode. You have a place for the egg decorations? Um, no, I need to find a forever home for them. I need to figure out what I want to put in here. I guess I could put my other, my other stands in there. I think I only have the one basket. Oh my gosh, Temple Run. Yes, that's I have the second one on my phone. I couldn't play the first one to save my life. Like, I would die. But the second one, I got really far. Yeah, this is the only spring item I have out. I don't know what to do with the eggs and stuff yet. I don't know if I should put like more fruits and veggies in here. Just leave it blank until I figure out what I want to do. Yeah, I can get another one. I play Candy Crush in a game called Snoopy Pop. It's a Peanuts game. Nice. I used to um I used to have Candy Crush on my phone like a long, long time ago. I don't I don't know why I stopped playing it, but I I did. And now I'm really bad at that game. Like, oh, I have Disney Emoji Blitz, but I'm awful at that game. I get so annoyed. <laughs> but it's like the Disney version of like Candy Crush, kinda. Hold on, let me go get another one of these fruit stands. There's an Easter event in DDV. Yes. Um, welcome in, Brianna. How are you? Um, there is. So it's a... It starts tomorrow. Um, it has to do with Wally. And you can go and see Wally, and there's um there's some quests you do, and like there's gonna be eggs. I think you get there's gonna be egg bushes that appear in your valley, and then um why don't I just go to a crafting stand? I can show you the items. You do stuff with Wally, and then my brain is fried. Like I need to remember what we do. Like, there's these rabbit games, and I think you unlock the blue spring, pink spring, and yellow spring rabbit. So these are special critters that you can unlock with Wally for the spring event. And then you also unlock new furniture, because there's these, these seeds that you can plant to get eggs. Then there's ones on the bushes, and I think you get some from Wally. Yeah, the, veg the vegetable seed. And then you can craft. This over easy egg chair, a spring bount a spring egg bounty, this spring stall. And then I have okay, there's 
this thing, the don't put them all in one egg basket. You can craft that. Um, this sunny side up arch is a craftable item. And then you also get... Oh, you get the rabbits from harvesting eggs and the seeds. Is there... Is it under village? I have to look. It's been... Okay. Oh, from these. You get the rabbits from... From these, right? I love it. I'll definitely be streaming that tomorrow. Do you have any tips for new streamers? Um... I don't know. I guess just kind of play and stream what you're interested in. Um, don't be nervous and don't rely too many on like numbers and viewers. Like it'll come in time. But yet yeah, then you complete like this is not where eggs come from. Spring taste test. Wally loves flowers and exceptional decorating. And you also get... I don't remember now like it's been what's well, been a year oh you get this really cute lamp right here this tulip lamp you can get this tulip lamp i think from one of those and then there's a oh what is it let's see if it's under pink there's a, a dining set as well oh you get this decorative vase and you also get a placemat, which, do I have this set somewhere? Is it white? The tulip items are my favorite in this game. They're really pretty. I forgot all about the spring event. So yeah, this vase of flowers, the lamp, and then, um, where is it? Oh, and the meal recipes, yes. Hold on, let me see. I know I can order the item from Scrooge, I just... I don't even know what it's considered. Ah, the sun's shining almost as bright as the money. Order some items. Uh, furniture. Is it decor? Where is this item? Right here, this plate. You get the spring tableware. This is a really pretty item. And then... Bye -bye now. You go to a kitchen. Yeah, because there's the recipes. Uh, I think they're considered desserts, right? Yeah, and you can also do the quest with Wally. Oh, where is it? I know what they look like. Okay, spring chocolate egg, which is a yellow egg, the sugar cane and the cocoa, and the spring egg bowl, which is the pink egg, the yellow egg, the blue egg, the cocoa and the sugar cane. 
the spring mimosa eggs, which is yellow egg, blue egg, pink egg, and is that basil? And I think those are the three recipes, right? Yeah, his rewards are eggs. Let me, let me like, I showed you the items, but let me actually see what we have to do. Cause it's been, it's been a hot second. Spring. Oh yes, yeah, so you get daily and weekly quests, which can be expected by speaking to Wally for the event's duration. So there's a wild spring egg, which can be picked up from the ground throughout the biome. So then you'll have the ones on the ground that will spawn, the excellent fruit, which can be plucked from wild bushes, and then the spring vegetable, which can must be grown from the vegetable seed. And to craft that seed, you need one wild spring egg and one excellent fruit and then 20 dream light. And then you like plant and grow. Okay, so it was those three recipes, the spring chocolate, the spring mimosa. Go back up. And that is not. And the spring egg bowl. And then after speaking with Wally, you can accept the blooming and blossoming daily quest. After accepting the quest, Wally wants you to help him gather his flowers for him. And you will be asked, will be tasked to craft a pretty flower basket. And then after crafting the basket, head back to Wally and deliver the pretty flower basket. After Delivering the flower basket to Wally. Speak to him one more time to complete his daily quest for the extravaganza. Which is when you catch the bunnies on the run. And then you've got the five new furniture items. Which is the, the chair, the basket... The giant egg thing, the arch, and the stand. But yeah, when you finish the rewards, like, or the quest with Wally, he'll give you eggs. The bunny quest was a lot of fun. But yeah, these are the... Where are they? Aha, right here. The spring chocolate egg, the spring egg bowl, and the spring mimosa eggs. Those are the three recipes. Then hold on. Okay, so then for these under village, you go to these ones. So this is not where eggs come from. You have to grow and harvest the vegetables to do a hundred of them. And then the spring taste test. I think you have to... The spring taste test. I think you have to make all three of those, those meals and eat them.
And the rewards for that's not where eggs come from is spring chocolate, the blue spring rabbit, the pink spring rabbit, and the yellow spring rabbit. And then, what's the other one? Okay, so spring taste test. I think you just eat. Yeah, so you have to cook and eat the spring chocolate, the spring mimosa egg, and the spring egg bowl. And once you do that, you'll get that diningware set. The spring tableware. And then Wally loves flowers. You get the, you have to hang out with Wally and you have to gather 50 flowers. And then once you do that, you'll get that vase with the tulips in it. And the exceptional decorating. You just have to place, um, you have to craft and place four of the egg items. And then your reward is that tulip lamp. That's about, <laughs> I was like, goodness, thank you IGN for your information. But yeah, those are the four duties that you complete to get your items. But yeah, here's like the egg basket. That's the one item you can craft. I don't know where my flower tableware went. Oh my goodness, a rock. Oh, I I went to Scrooge's to go get that. No. Was I going to go get... No, I centered it. I wasn't going to get a second... A second stall, right? No, I was. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a one track mind. If I go off track, then I completely forget what I was doing. Alright, we're going back up around. And I think with the this is not where eggs come from, I think after like you pick 25 eggs, you get the chocolate, and then like 25 more, you get one bunny. So then at like 75, you get the third, the second bunny, and at like 100, you get the third bunny. I think that's how it, no, I don't need this couch. I'm pretty sure that's how it's broken up. Furniture. Okay, so you sent a pitch from the event last year. I can't believe it's been over a year since we've had that event. It seems like forever ago, but really not that long ago. Oh my gosh, that dress looks so good with the egg. It matches. Oh, 
Wally's so cute and the blue bunny. They're like, those bunnies are so cute. That's a really good picture. They need to do, we better have a springed dream snap for this. Like, tomorrow it should be a spring themed dream snap. Blue is your favorite color. It's really pretty. I love that dress. Tomorrow is Valentine's Dream Snap. No, no, Gambit. It's gonna be like a Halloween. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know these people in their Dream Snaps. Like, I don't- I don't know. No, I don't like two pieces. Or maybe. Do some parquet flooring here. Have to, I want to get 100% crafted. Have to do heavy grinding. Same. I need to, um, I want to get all my items crafted too. And have that 100%ed. Cute. Look at this little veggie stand. See, this would be perfect if we had those shopping bags just place them there as decor Oh, 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 wait a minute. Um, Moana, there's coconuts in a basket. Forgot that was a thing. Ice cream, get your ice cream. Need to have lights. Oops. I feel like there needs to be something here. Blueberry bush. <laughs> no. I mean, it's not awful, but it doesn't really go. What else? What else do we have in this game? Or is there any craftable items that I'm not thinking of?
Not really. You deserve a coffee break. Thank you, Alan. I've got my propel. <laughs> I was thinking about coffee tonight. I was I usually try to sit and have a cup of coffee when I'm streaming, but coffee just did not sound good to me tonight and I don't know why. Now it kind of sounds good, but then I'll be up all night because I'll have to like go to the bathroom like every 10 minutes. Do you like tea? I do. I just have to be like in the mood for it. I'm not on company time. <laughs> no breaks for you. Hmm. I need to figure out what to put in here. I kind of want like another little I need more crates and stands like this but for something else I mean like blankets but god forbid a blanket stand could go in there ooh but maybe if you have time for coffee you have time to fill out more reports you have time to lean you have time to clean Oh, dang. I want to have go get more um, of those baskets. The not so special specialty baskets. Like this. Maybe we'll have like a little fireworks shop in here. Alright, let's hold on. Let's go back to, to Scrooge. We're always at Scrooge's. Yeah, there is, I don't know what it is, but there is something about, like, tea and coffee, like, iced tea, mainly, and coffee that it's, like, it, I have to go to the bathroom, like, every 30 minutes, if not less. And it, like, repeats for, like, the entire day. If I drink it in the afternoon, in the morning, I'm fine and normal, but it's, like, if I have a coffee at, like, this one point, it's, like, forget it. I love tea. I drink three cups a day. I just have to be in the mood for it. Let's buy four of those. Okay, I don't know why I stopped working with the controller. Oh, I came back a great time. Good thing I don't take things out of contents. Tea sounds really good right now, though. Like hot tea with lemon and stuff. That sounds really good. I want storage. I probably can't put a shelf anyway back there, so it's not, not going to make a difference. Let me just go through all and scroll while I'm here. Just buy things I think I may need in the future. Do you have an Aldi nearby? They have a really good Earl Grey tea. I do have an Aldi's. I'll have to try it. What, is it their brand? I have like a English breakfast tea that I bought <laughs> last Easter. Okay, because I went into, um, ooh, it's, it's like Marshall's or Home Goods, and they had a Beatrix Potter canister with like, um, peter rabbit and stuff it was so cute and it came with like 150,000 bags of tea so that's usually what i drink but i like earl gray
Oh, let me take one of Eric's little boats. I can put that for sale at my spot. Oh, I'm not sure I bought it because it was very cheap and no weird ingredients. I always ask because you never know with all these. They have like some of the best stuff, but it's like if it's not their brand and it's like the get it here before it's gone, then I always miss out on it. I'm like, please don't leave. Ever. I only drink tea when I have a sore throat. I drink cold care tea. Like, there's this coffee shop near me. Well, not near me. It's like, <laughs> it's 40 minutes away. But it's on my way to work. And they have this thing like called cold care tea, which is just like ginger, lemon, honey, and cinnamon. It's really good. It like coats my throat and I feel like it working already and I can feel my body getting better. It's probably just in my mind, but I really like that tea. Aldi has some really good stuff. Their pasta they have in stock is really good. They do have like some really good items. I go back there. I bought <laughs> I bought weights. I bought adjustable weights at all these one time. They're my favorite things ever. I've never seen them again in their store. It's like the weirdest thing. But I also got them during the pandemic, so like a lot of people were exercising at home because of gyms being closed so maybe that's why it was there but i'll never know oh sometimes i love those like I don't know who sells them. I think Walmart maybe or something. But there was apple cider packs. I just, you know, like boil some water and like pull, pour this content in. And I have like hot apple cider. <laughs> I love those things. I crave that when I'm sick sometimes. That's a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. I don't I don't know the brand, but it's it is a thing. Like, nothing is jumping out at me for, like, a beach marketplace. Maybe Gaston's arrow. I'm not a tea guy. I would offer you coffee instead. I love coffee. Coffee is my go-to. When I first watched Gilmore Girls, like, when I first started watching it through, man, that show made me drink coffee like nobody's business. I swear, I had, like, a cup of episode, and I would, like, binge watch that show. Man, I'm about ready to offer up the sushi guy in there. This will be the ultimate hot take. Grape flavoring is way better than cherry. Nobody wants to taste medicine with every sip. <laughs> My hot take is I don't like either. But I hate raspberry flavoring. Cherry is number one and then raspberry is a close second. Ooh. I don't know what it is, but it freaks me out. 
You just welcome Donald Duck into your valley? Nice. Very nice. How many- who, what all villagers do you have in your valley so far? Okay, so we're gonna do... Oh, let's get Gaston's. I think it was the colors that just spoke to me, really. You have them all. Claire's got them all, and they're all leveled up. Mine, I neglect them. My villagers hate me. They're about ready to run away. <laughs> oh, my favorite tea flavor is raspberry tea flavor from the Celestial Tea brand. You know... Now that I think about it, and I'm thinking about tea, that kind of sounds good, but like, oh, my cousin, like, making me sick to my stomach thinking about it. Her favorite, um, maybe I don't want them on a table. She loved, so like this coffee place, that's like my favorite coffee place. In the summer, they have this, like, flavor challenge. And I don't know who came up with these, but they need some serious help. And so, like, if you, you get the punch card, and if you try all of these flavors, then you get, I don't know, something free at the end. Some of them were the nastiest things I ever, like, sm I, I can't eat, like, I smelled the coffee, and it made me sick to my stomach. I was like, who is drinking this? And so anyway, like one of them, it was like this, okay, thank you, game. It was a raspberry flavor. Oh, my stomach like churned and I tried one. Cause I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drink it. I got a couple sips out of it and I was like dying on the inside. But other than that, like even like raspberry flavoring and the chocolates and stuff, I can't do it. There's something with the smell. I don't know what it is. They used to have a watermelon tea flavor and it was so good, but I don't think they make, make it anymore. I've never heard of a watermelon flavored tea. That sounds really good though. Raspberry is way better than grapefruit. That flavor is nasty like passion fruit. I love grapefruit. Grapefruit is like one of my favorites. Like I can eat grapefruit cough drops and stuff, like no problem. I don't know if they're cough drops, they're like the weird, the weird fruit flavored ones. I hope when Mulan comes, we get some like pyrotechnics. I have Mirabelle, Kristoff, Donald, Duck, Goofy, Mickey Mouse, Scrooge McDuck, Maui, Moana, Remy, Ursula, Merlin, Wally, and Vanellope. Nice. That is a pretty decent character list for recently starting out. Do you have a Tavanosaur in your local malls? I had one and it was my introduction to fruity tea flavors. No, and I have never even heard of Tavana. Tivana. And I wish we had one of those. Blood orange is so good. I love. I love any citrus flavors. You like fruit flavored beverages? I do. Not peach though. I don't. <laughs> I don't like peach flavored. Like peach flavored iced tea and stuff. No. Yuck. Blah. But mostly other flavored stuff, I don't mind. I have weird tastes. I'll be the first to admit it. You gave me a four fruit combo. I'm picking strawberry, kiwi, watermelon, and raspberry. <laughs> Your dad can't eat grapefruit because of his medicine. I started eating grapefruit. That's that's a I, I would die 
if I couldn't have, well, I don't eat great food that much, but I think I would crave it more knowing that I couldn't have it. But I started, I was eating great food, like, with the spoon and stuff, and then I don't know what spurred it on, but I was like, I'm going to use a fork. Or not a fork, I'm going to peel it like an orange. And that's why I've been eating grapefruit. Oh, I guess that is over. Fanta orange in Europe is real blood orange, but not the sugar water we have here. Oh, I would drink that. Really, any type of melon is good. I love melons. Like, ugh, summertime, like, we get the cantaloupe and the honeydew, the watermelon. Like, oh, all those are so good. My dog loves water, like, melons, too. So, we share. It's so funny. What about avocado flavored? I like avocados. In a drink, I don't, I don't know about that. But I do like avocados a lot. Like, ugh, guacamole. I love avocados, but I don't think I've had anything avocado flavored. Okay, I had maybe... Okay, it was either <laughs> Big Lots or Aldi's. Like, I don't know which one. There was avocado flavored tortilla chips. They were so good. I loved those things. I don't know whatever happened to them. I haven't had them in a hot minute, but they are really good. <laughs> oh my little it's like a green Dorito it was so good I wish I could center between two squares we lived next to a watermelon farm growing up and the farmer landlord told us to pick them anytime we wanted Oh, that would be, that would be heaven. I love watermelon. Sometimes in the summer, that's like the only thing I'll have for dinner. It's just a bowl of watermelon because it's, it's so good. I saw this uh, thing about like watermelon. It's like how, it's like I'm so thirsty. It's like I'm so hungry here. It's like have some watermelon to quench your hunger and thirst or something of the same it was i don't even remember how they put it but it was really funny i'm triggering people now tomatoes are such a horrible fruit <laughs> tomatoes oh olive oil olive oil avocado oil for cooking yes um whenever i fry anything i use avocado oil i like the taste of it or it doesn't really have too bad of a taste, so it's really nice to fry and cook stuff with. I'm joking, there is no avocado drink. Now somebody's gonna make one. And Alan was the first to mention it, and they should credit him. Alright, so we've got this, like, little... I don't even know what this is, like, little flea market thing here. Avocado flavored tortilla chips, so guacamole flavored tortilla chips then. I don't think it was guacamole. I thought it said avocado. It could have been guacamole, but I was like pretty sure it was just plain old avocado. But they were really good. I was once the watermelon seed spinning champion in Redwood City, California. My claim to fame. There was such a thing. You use avocado oil instead of olive oil. Yeah, so, um, avocado oil, I think it has, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it has a higher burn, is it the burn temperature, burn point, than olive oil? So sometimes, like, if I'm, um, or, like, my grandma, she makes it too, it's really good. She'll do homemade egg rolls, and she'll use avocado oil to fry them in because of the high burn temperature like if you're doing like the shallow fry in the pan but yeah i'll use avocado oil sometimes more to cook with than like regular 
olive oil. To me personally, avocado only tastes as good as it sounds. I love avocados. I don't, I mean, guacamole is my favorite when you add stuff in it, but I just, I love avocados. I don't know what it is. I really want guacamole too. This sounds so good. So yeah, this is what we've got so far for... Oh, you gotta go for some egg rolls right now. It's so good. Yeah, my grandma, she went on this like... It's so funny. She went on this egg roll like kick. I don't know what spurred her into it. I think it's because like... One time we had like Chinese food and the egg rolls were the nastiest things we've ever had. They were gray. I've never had a gray egg roll before. And so she's like, I can make these better. So she's like started making her own egg rolls and now she gets like fancy. She did like the normal ones. She did like the cheeseburger egg rolls. She did the Southwest ones. She does Reuben ones. She made a pizza one. I think she did a taco one too. She just goes on and finds little recipes. It's just so cute. She like packs them. She like brings them to like all of us to try. And she's like, let me know which one's your favorite and I'll make them next time. Just hope you don't accidentally buy the wrong avocado. Otherwise, you're going to have an awkward phone call with the FBI and Homeland Security. What? What avocado are you talking about? I'm missing something. Also, isn't avocado oil healthier for you? Um, I don't know about that. There needs to be a restaurant that sells a giant egg roll as the main entree. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. I... What was it? Um, Cheesecake Factory. Oh my god. They have like that avocado like sampler thing. It's so good. No, the, no egg roll. It's like an egg roll. I think the one has... It's like an avocado egg roll. That was really good. I'm craving. I'm craving two, Claire. I just want egg rolls and stuff. Yeah, avocado has good fats. The fact I only have Panda Express, Subway, McDonald's as my fast food options right next to my house is absolutely terrible. I low-key might have to go to the protein bowl and get, or get a fruit one. Oh my bad, the Mexican tart tells avocado. Oh. <laughs> I, I do not have fast food near me. If I want fast food, I have to drive like a half an hour. It's so sad. What's your favorite thing to cook in real life? Um. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really like, um. What was it? Sometimes it depends on like the mood I'm in. Like, what I want to make. I could make so much Lucy be successful. Thank you. I'll try. Um, for me, it's fried rice. It's so easy to cook and customizable. Ooh, that sounds good. Ooh, I love to make quesadillas. I like, um... like these pork peppered pitas things that I make um so you take I get like a jar of um like the roasted red peppers and then um hold on okay so I take like yeah it's like a jar of the roasted red peppers 
and then pork but i mean you can use like chicken and stuff that's fine and i just slice up the chicken like into thin strips and um just like fry it with some like olive oil avocado oil and garlic and just kind of cook it and season it and then i cut up the i'll take the juice sometimes from the red peppers and pour it in there and then slice up the red peppers into strips too and then make a like garlic type sauce with like mayo and milk and garlic like and then like just put everything like in a pita pocket and eat it that way it's one of my favorite comfort meals to eat And then my grandpa, he likes that, and but he likes to eat it over rice. I don't know why. You gave rice to your dogs and they loved it. Nice. My dogs will eat anything. For the most part. There's some days they look at me like I'm crazy. I wanted to make like a cute somehow. Some type of path. Um, I like to bake, but I mostly if I bake like it's banana bread and muffins. Nothing too extraordinary. I always mess up when I bake. I feel the pressure is crazy sometimes to bake like i feel like i'm gonna mess up too probably because one time i put like salt in <laughs> instead of sugar oh man i built i made like cookies and it scarred me for life <laughs> so yeah i'm always terrified i'm gonna do something like that again Sometimes they misbehave, the little rascals. Oh, your dogs? Or baking. I like to make chocolate chip banana bread. That sounds really good too. Maybe something like that. Dogs, you mean? <laughs> yeah, my dogs, they're... They're so funny. They'll just, like... They're so cute. Like, they're begging. They... Will sit, like, on your feet if you're sitting at the table. Like, for dinner. And they'll just lay there quietly and they won't make a pee because they know like if they're quiet then they'll usually get like something i don't think they have banana bread in dreamlight valley i don't think so either they added in all like those muffins but they did not put in I don't think they put in banana bread you have to enjoy being creative with your baking oh yes stitch stitches spaceship I forgot about that Maybe I'll park it here and then... Of course. Of course. Uh, 
Um, what about a hammock swing? Palm trees and red hammock. I thought I had more of those. My dad insisted I have to put walnuts in some treats I make and it annoys me. I, oh, I do not like walnuts. Mm -mm. I, uh, I, nope. Ugh. What other games do you enjoy? Um, I like... What other games do I enjoy? I like... Hmm. Um, I like the Harvest Moon Story of Season games. Um, Dinkum. Um, I like Animal Crossing. Hmm. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> that was the other one I was playing. Um... I like those type of games. I like um non cozy like Baldur's Gate. It's like one of my favorites. Nuts are not good in desserts, according to most people. I yeah, unless it's like I don't know something, but no, I mm -mm, I don't like nuts in desserts. I feel like that should be back maybe a little bit. Never played them, but I'm familiar. It's like, I don't... Yeah, I have like a really weird... I like Sims. I haven't played it in like forever and a day. But I do like Sims. And then, what else do I like? Um, I'm trying to think of other games. I'm really bad at <laughs> trying out new games, I'm not gonna lie. I've played a little bit of Fay Farm. I really liked it when I played with it, but I have I have to put some more hours in it because it hasn't I didn't give it enough of time. And then what else have I played? Um, hmm. what are some other good games? What if I do...
uh, blue. Picnic set. I kind of want to recreate my dream, my one dream snap over here. I've been watching some playthroughs on the new Princess Peach game. What is that even about? I saw it came out, but I have no idea what it is. I'll just... I have another lifeguard tower somewhere else. It's just a, the game, just the game of just Princess Peach. You think it's a first? I don't even remember hearing about it. And then I saw somebody, oh, somebody on Twitter like baking a cake for it, and I was like, "What is this game?" I don't know what else to put here in the beach. Who is my favorite Mario character? Hmm. That's a good question. I could always put that back where I had it. Oops, sorry. Chair creaked. Um, probably Yoshi. <laughs> I love Yoshi. Like, when I played the, um, when I used to play the games, like, I would, um, try to get, like, all the different colored Yoshis. It was, like, my goal in life. Like Super Mario Bros. on the Super Nintendo. I don't know if I even ever finished the game. I was just more concerned with catching all of, like, having a collection full of Yoshis. I like Toad. He's cute. I don't know what to add else in here. <laughs> 
feel like these need to be a little bit closer. And penguin characters. Oh, I forgot about them. They are cute. I haven't really played enough of like the new games. I played <laughs> pretty much just my Super Mario Bros. And then I got it on my, um, what was that thing? Uh, game Boy. And I played that thing like nonstop. Oh, his amp. I should have like a little stage area for him. I told my dad about the guy at the lake. He started laughing uncontrollably. When I told him about the pink knee pads, he had to leave the room. He couldn't keep it together. <laughs> That's funny. That is a sight to behold. That is for sure. What other musical instruments do we have here? We have like Miguel's guitar. Don't we have like a lute or something? A good this guitar. I would play as the princess in Mario 2. My favorite is probably Bowser. There's three princesses. Oh, I only thought Peach. I thought Peach was the only one. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm behind in any of the Mario knowledge. There's Daisy and Rosalina. Is that how you say her name? Prin yeah, I know Princess Peach is the OG. I didn't know they added more. Maybe I'm thinking we can like craft a loot or something from the loot pieces. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. The flower rose. I have never heard of her. I don't even know if I've ever seen her before. Hmm. 
Maybe I was thinking of something else. Mario one time was a boxing referee. Her first appearance was Super Mario Galaxy, the Nintendo Wii, back in like 2009. I have never heard of these people. Hmm. Is this Stitches stage? It is. I feel like I should probably move that somewhere that's not in front of his house. Maybe. know where else to put in here right now. I guess you could do some chairs. You have the surfboards? Yeah, I have a couple of them. I've got this set in front of his house and this one here. Maybe I'll get like another one. Throw down some fish. Stitch needs a snack. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. I need to find a home for that. I don't know where to put his model thing. Oh my gosh. Some people are worth melting for. I don't want to have it too filled up because you never know who else we're going to get. Fun fact. Oh, we'll lead you. Oh. I was just slapped together character in his debut Super Mario Tennis 1999. And oh, yeah, I know who he is. I'm thinking of somebody else now. And for Nintendo 64, it became popular. The creator didn't know why he's now a staple character. I was thinking of Wario for a minute. When you said Walu Wally I don't know how to say his name. Daisy came a few years later after Peach. Probably as a love interest for Luigi. I have missing out on this Mario lore. Do you ever feel nostalgic sometimes like on TV? I was watching clips of my favorite show. Yes, depending on like what it is, it's like, oh my goodness. Commercials, oh man. Listening to commercials like makes me so nostalgic. Or like, I don't even know what made it pop into my head. But the other, I started singing that, um, um, oh my gosh, Education Connection. <laughs> it's like my childhood song. I think I'm gonna call it good for right now. I gotta think out, think about what else I want to add in here. But I kind of want to do a little sound, little stage area for him. One show I feel nostalgic for is Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I never really watched that all the way through. Hmm. 
probably should. Well, no. I feel like I should have, but it was just a show. Do you know when your next stream will be? Um, We're going to stream again tomorrow. We'll do some reset. Reset Wednesday. See what we got for Dream Snap score. And then see what the new theme is. Check out the premium shop. And then probably do see more decorating or some um character. Some quests. Love interests are as follows. Mario and Peach, Luigi and Daisy, Waluigi and Rosalina, and then there's just Wario. Man's got no game. Not that I can judge. I had the Wario game like on my Game Boy. It was fun. Hi Darson, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Alright, so my beach overview is sweet are you gonna stream this weekend as well um probably sunday i'm gonna be out of town on saturday but probably like a sunday night stream if i do so we've got our new market area got some fish goofy's fishing for the boat because moana bailed I got that thrown in there. And we've got Donald's area updated. I want to put some more items on top of these these crates. I just got to figure out what. Then we have these fruit and veggie stands. Five, ten, time the king move on with Goofy's cart. Then over to Stitch's house for now. I can't, I like the parasols along here and stuff. I just got to figure out what I want to do in the the middle here. Maybe I'll put his stage like over here or something. But definitely got to play around with it some more. And I want to find a spot for his book. Where he reads his book. Another Kingdom Hearts stream by any chance. Um, I'm thinking if I do one, it may be like Friday night. I'll do one. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking right now. And then Or if I could do it Sunday. With in the deep jungle part, and that's that's the world I left off on. And I wanted to play it when I was like more awake. I was so tired Saturday. But I could I wanna decorate and do an area in the Wild Tangle dedicated to Tarzan. So get some inspiration with my tents and stuff. Hope you can make a place for Daisy Duck. This is where I wanna put Daisy. I don't know what her house is gonna look like if she's not living with Donald, so hopefully it'll fit in this spot. I've had this spot saved so she could be neighbors with Minnie for ever <laughs> dang i'm gonna have to go back into skateboarding hope this crappy walmart board doesn't break my arm or something i also want to know what it feels like so it would be mad if it happened yeah i would not want to have my arm broken for anything Oof. but yeah this is where i want to put daisy complete something good Is there anything good? No. No, it's not. But that is my plan for her right here. This will be her home. Gives me a great excuse I can take full advantage of. Bro a broken bones is no fun. I'll just tell you that right now. It's new to you. <laughs> Does it count as a new item? It did. Wow, look at that. I'm still at 83% though. This game.
The furniture polish you got? Yeah. It's not the new furniture I wanted. It's what I got. I like this little area. I probably should do... I think- I honestly think it would be a game changer for how I interact with people well, mainly because it would force me to. <laughs> it's the recovery after. It's like using- like using that bone and stuff and like what it feels like. Like I broke my ankle and that was like the worst thing ever. The recovery. But I like this little area so far. Uh, it's coming out good. We need more items. <laughs> I need more items to fill in here. But yeah. So I like it. I think it's it's coming along slowly but surely. It's a bad mindset to have, but unless I'm forced to do something, I will never do it. Uh, you could work at customer service and talk to people that way. <laughs> you don't have to break a bone. The night overview. Oh, look at it. It's pink on that side and blue on this side. A Mickey cloud. And the sword and the stone. A sword in the stone. What is that one? How come... What do you have to do to get this constellation to show the picture? Oh, it's a Mickey constellation. <gasps> Where'd the Mickey cloud... Oh, there's the Mickey cloud. If you get the Mickey cloud and the constellation in the same picture, that would be cool. Oh, there's the frozen. Cool. I love the stars. I like how they do that. Quick, somebody get that in their dream snap. The worst I got was hit by a big dude. Flew back with my head already. Day ringing, then got knees straight in the ear. Oh, my belly rolling. Oh, those... You didn't have a concussion. Oh my goodness. And you were thinking about breaking your bones. What would it be like to have a broken arm or something? Goodness. Anyway. Yeah. Broken bones are not fun. Black Capture the Flag was not my friend that day. Um, I would say not. I would say not. But yeah, this is what we got going for the beach so far. But thank you guys for hanging out. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with our reset day to see what the dream snap results are. <laughs> good, good job staying strong with your dream snap. Oh yeah, this is my dream snap submission. It's going to stay like that because I don't, I don't want to change it. It's basic. She basic. Hopefully she'll get us some moonstones because, you know, it's the summer outfit in... A winter setting but yeah hoping for a good challenge like something inspiring because this week was not it I like the photo but seeing what other people did like half half summer half winter it's like yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know how well it's gonna do but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow and we'll do our reset stream and then we'll check out everything in the shop. Fingers crossed. My house skin is in there so I can finish decorating the plaza and do Remy's. But I hope you all have a really good night and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.